But if this video gets 5,000 views, then I will give away this exact version of the device. It's touch screen. It's got a nice big screen. It runs on Android and it's got Google Maps already installed. Today we have the uh, shoe pad device and it's the uh, S3 Plus. So basically it's like a camera in your car that also works as a mirror and it's got a screen in the middle which uh, runs Android and uh, that's basically what it is and uh, because it runs android it means you've got all these different functions and uh, the screen is actually about seven inches which is quite a nice decent size okay so enough about what's on the outside let's open this package all right so uh Okay, get rid of that. Okay, and now we have this part here. Okay, Ooh. so it opens this way. Okay, Ooh. all right. Okay, A bit of foam here keep it protected okay okay and here's the main device this is the actual mirror itself and it's got this nice little pouch that it comes in uh, there's a layer of uh, protective film on here to uh, stop the mirror from getting scratched and if we look on the back of the mirror you can see that you've got uh, some speakers there on the back uh, and there's the camera and according to the specs this is actually a uh, wide angle camera so you can really see everything that's happening in front of you you get a full wide angle being recorded and um, obviously the main question here is so you're recording video, but where do you save the video? How do you save video? And the answer is on top here. I don't know if you can see that. You've got some slots for things like uh, memory cards, SIM cards, and things like that. I don't know if that's a bit clearer. And this is where your USB goes. For your power and this is a uh, an AV inlet right there and uh, what this does is that uh, it's for a uh, second camera if you wanted to install a second camera you put the second camera into there and uh, like we mentioned before this does use uh, Google Maps you can actually use this with Google Maps and this right here is where you put your GPS antenna. So if we look in the box, to see if there's anything else in there. Okay, so we have this, which is your power cable. It's just a normal uh, USB mini. I mean, you don't see too many of those these days, but that's what it uses. And there we have this, which is your uh, GPS antenna. And yeah, it's just a standard uh, 3 to 5 volt GPS antenna, and it just plugs into there, right there, like that. 
There you go. You're good to go. And what else do we have in here? Okay, so we've got some clips here which attach onto the mirror here. Like that to help with insulation, just like that. Okay, two clips. And the last thing we have is the rear camera. Okay, so as you can see, this is just a camera it's inside there. There you go. It's the camera. And this is the uh, actual cable that uh, connects back to the mirror. Okay, so the power is now connected. Let's try turning on this mirror. This on button. Please insert SD card. Okay, insert SD card. Uh, probably not yet. Let's see, okay. So it's got quite a few functions on here. You can see you've got the time there. You've got uh, the driving video if you're recording, which is the primary function of this device, actually. You've got your GPS navigation. Uh, looks like there's a compass as well. Uh, some other functions, so we've got brightness control, volume, uh, or you can play music as well. Uh, you've got the Google Play Store there, and you've got your apps which are in there already. Uh, we won't spend too much time exploring all these functions, because I feel like this video is long enough as it is. I'll probably make another video looking at uh, all the uh, different functions, but uh, I guess we could take a look at the uh, the driving video. So, driving video, how are you? Okay, nothing is showing up. Oh, it's on back camera. So let's switch it to front, to camera. front camera. Okay, that's the front camera. So it's got time and date down there. And there's the camera. And you can move it around. Yep. Yeah. So the camera can swivel around depending on where you want to point it. Okay, seems okay. Uh, settings. Also save. Uh, it's on. 1080p quality which is high and then you've got normal which is 720p which I guess it's not amazing definitely not amazing by any stretch but I guess it's that's all you need really if you're just recording video from your car and uh, so you've got your gallery there it's no SD card. Uh, video, you can take a picture. And the settings, we've just been in there. Okay, go back home. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, might as well try connecting up the uh, other camera, the rear camera. Let's see what happens when we connect that up. So let's just rest this on there for a second. Okay, so let's try connecting up the rear camera. There it is. Here's the rear camera. There's the uh, AV cable. And this is the actual camera module itself. This one here. Okay, and there's a question here. What's it saying? Use Google Location Services. Uh, let's see. Agree, okay, and uh, this just plugs into the top here. Camera's plugged in, okay. Uh, let's go back to driving video, and there we have it, okay. So, right now we're in 
front camera. Let's switch to Switching the rear camera. camera. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so now camera is looking at itself. There you go. So we've got a back camera looking around. It's a back camera. We'll switch to the front camera. Switching to front camera. You can do dual camera. camera. Okay. Uh, can you switch these around? Camera switching. Yep. You can switch them around. So now we've got the rear camera on the big display and the front camera on the small display. Let's go to the front camera. Switching to front camera. I'm just wondering if it's possible to get rid this menu here on the side so you get a fuller screen um, let's see stretching out no doesn't work stitching dual camera okay swiping just changes the camera stitching to front camera try double tapping yep yeah, that's it you double tap you get nice full screen okay and uh, that's it for the review overall I think it's a pretty decent device it's uh, very well made it's got uh, a lot of uh, protective packaging in there as well so it should be safe uh, till it gets to you um, and uh, you can do quite a few things on there downsides are uh, it doesn't come with a manual which is a little bit disappointing but it's not it's not the end of the world uh, there's also uh, the fact that it's running Android which is software and things can go wrong with software um, but that being said you can just turn off the screen and it works just like a normal mirror so I guess it's not too big of a downside uh, the voice is a little bit annoying I don't really like the voice but I guess it's a matter of uh, opinion really and um, yeah I mean it's got a few accessories that come with it the uh, rear camera is included GPS antenna uh, the charger, which is, you'd expect that to be included, but that's there as well. And, um, yeah, overall, I think it's it's a pretty good device. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description to where you can actually buy this device. Okay, so I was just thinking, with this device being so small and so compact, I could actually do a giveaway because it's small and it's easy to ship. So what I'll do is if this video gets 1000 views, I will give away the basic model of this device, which has a uh, smaller screen and it's not touch screen. It's got buttons down here. So for 1000 views, I'll give away the basic model. But if this video gets 5,000 views, then I will give away this exact version of the device. It's touch screen. It's got a nice big screen. It runs on Android and it's got Google Maps already installed. I will ship this to you directly for free. So 5,000 views and we will give away this version of the device.